Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2, Game 2 of the Kingdom of Steel tournament between Virion and Tonoman. Starting with Tonoman's deck on a Vanguard income, he's going with 5th Kabirs. He's going to be taking some Fuziers in Phase A, B, and also the SPW AB41. Nothing to say about that, the Fuzier has an interesting G43 ZF4 scope rifle plus 6 G43 plus 2 MP40. So better at a distance of 500 meters. These guys will absolutely shred. And you know bonus they do have exceptional stealth. And very high optic. Going with the infantry tab here. We are having 5 Stoom Pioneers 1 star. with uh, Everyone is 1 star alright. So 5 Stoom Pioneer. For Gebir's Pioneer, these guys, um, they have the G43 and 6 MP40, which makes them very potent Pioneers. With They have jerry can bombs, and so that creates flames. It is not the usual TNT. Um, so yeah, they're very, and they're cool looking too, I feel like. They're all down except for the machine gun guy, and uh, it looks like he has a flame chorer. So I'm not sure what is up with that. Is that to... I mean, it's a classic flamethrower. Is it to refill? Is it to fill jerry can bombs? I don't know what exactly that is. It's probably a mistake. I'm going to go with Eugen made a mistake. But anyway, Stoom Pioneers here. Oh, and these guys don't have any flamer. This guy is missing. There you go. That's it, guys. They put the flamer on the machine gun. And the Stone Pioneers doesn't have anything. God damn these devs. And they're insane in their folly. And, and they're making us pay for that. Whatever. Gebir Strife also in uh, one start. They got the 5 MP44 and 2 machine, machine Gun 42. But there's only a strength of 7 in their ranks. And so... I mean... It's not the best infantry, but you put them on the edge of forest and you put them at the 300 meter range and they will shred everything. So that's that they got a very specific use basically or you know in in a town. Um Gebers Jaggers and Gebers Führer in A phase. These guys have bazookas, scope and three Beretta, so they're pretty good. You can actually fight with them. You wouldn't because they're leaders, but if if you absolutely need to, you can. In B phase, we're going with more Stone Pioneers, some Gibbers Jaggers, and some more leaders. And in C phase, we're going with the Gibbers Jaggers unvetted. Very good, actually. Um, I've got nothing to say about about this deck so far, and B face is B face and A face is well stocked. Plus, you got the C face uh, mandatory infantry card, so that even if you're playing Vanguard, you 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 might need um, you know a C face card. All right. Thanks. He's going with the Stug M42 and Stug Tree. Uh, one vetted the Stug Tree, but mm, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, IG-18 boat coming in phase A. So he's got eight of them. These are very good tank killers, by the way. Uh, Gabriel Jaeger's MG-42 with the LG-42 also coming in A. So all of his support coming in A phase. I feel like he could have maybe put one of these cards in B. Like maybe these guys in B would have been great. Uh, couple... Munition in B. These guys only have 5,000 ammo each, but they got 8 instead of 4, so it balances out. Push on 88, pack 40, and another pack 40 in B phase. Flak 38, 1 star, with uh, the Breda 20 mil, 1 star as well. Now, I mean, honestly, people think 5th Gabriel doesn't have good anti air, and in a way, you look at it and you're like, yeah. <laughs> but they're actually quite good if you spam them and that's the thing is uh, I personally always take three cards of these um, and I will double vet these Breda and unvet the 20 mil but you get a lot of these and it's it hasn't been rare that I, my air force was completely overwhelmed by 5th Gabir's anti-air back in the days when, when people used to play them 
Um, Mortar's one star. Very strange. Three rounds per minute. Why? I don't know. Uh, I guess he doesn't just. He just. He just knows he's not going to use any more than that. Uh, off map in a phase as well. This is most likely to counter. Um, the enemy's off map. You'll see why soon. I say that. And the SK eighteen one hundred five mil unvetted with no ammo trucks. And in the air department, we're getting the Velto, one star, the HS129 cluster, the Duck, and the Sparviero in A and B phase. All right, so a very, very good deck. Here I have absolutely nothing to say about that. Now we're going for the enemy who selected to play with first special brigade. Um, he's going to use... I don't even want to comment on this fucking deck. You can take a look, press pause if you want. And let's get to the battle. Bye bye first SSB. Alright and so here we are with the game starting. There is no off map on the first SSB side. There is no off map on the fifth Gabir's side either. Everyone looks like they're deploying fairly well to the map. There is uh, one troop going here. Another coming in here. Commando tank busters will get owned by the fusilier if they unload at the same time over here more tank but i don't know what makes him think that he can go as far as this um with with a single troop lots of troops uh, on the on the left from uh, tonoman i imagine he wanted to make sure that he's not weak anywhere depending will he unload god damn it Alright, this one got killed. Oh my god, I hate to see these commandos. I hate to see this division. I almost didn't cast the game, guys, by the way. But in the first cast, I did say we would look at game two. So, here we are. But I really don't want to cast games from first SSB. I just hate them too much. Uh, Fusilier actually caught up with the tank busters. And there you go, IG-18 also doing his part in crushing the bugs uh god damn commando leader is going to start shooting at the machine gun and gabriel's fusier i'm guessing virin is just not looking around here tonoman he's doing a great job pushing here 1311 for him it's worth noting virin is on a balance income too SPW41 will do some good job against these guys, but everyone here has a Piat. A uh, Piat means you get one or two chances of escaping death. There's a lot of um, a lot of uh, support here. I like to see a big old line of support like that. Just pure defensive maneuvers. Look at that. One, two, three. And four. Going to take another flag. There's an Achilles coming in here, but could very well die from the LG42 or the IG18. Like, I'm not worried for them. Unfortunately, now the commando demolitions start coming in. These guys have a sickening amount of weapons with them. Gebel okay, Strife being stuck fighting in the distance. Not gonna fare well. Yeah, exactly. He's going to stay in the middle of the houses here this will allow him better better shots what is this oh yeah because now he's at the 300 range for most i think the commando leader just yeah will allow him to do a little bit better but he's pretty yeah he's pretty rough on he is he is fighting rm commandos some pioneers obviously go down there's more being called the pioneers also there you go rm commando goes down entire flank here is to tonoman mm, the spw died somewhere i'm wondering if that's him no it's not give us is being called in to protect not gonna fare well like that in the distance get ig18 going after the sherman dd 
bounces. There's a limit to what the IG-18 can do. Um, but yeah. Uh, dangerous position here, but it looks like that Sherman is blind. Over here, we're having an 81 millimeter mortar shoot. Will be too late to the party, though. He's only one fort loaded yet. Still, I mean. It's took M42 versus Achilles with all of these weapons. Oh, look at that. How beautiful that is. Transmission damage. Oh, no. Some of these are shooting at the RM Commando. That is too bad. Achilles will have no choice than to retreat in face of this uh, overwhelming amount of force. What a beautiful tank, though. Over here, we're having them shoot at a long range now, so these Tomb Pioneers will be a little, you know, affected from this. They'll, they'll put some smoke, I think. No, they're shooting their Berettas, uh, uh, 3 Beretta 2 MP40. They're good units. Um, but they should definitely put some smoke down. Oh, there you go. They're falling back, actually. Velto coming in. 40 Hellcat has a chance, but will not take it as he retreats. More Gibbous Jaegers coming in to reinforce the town. There's some. Ah, uh, there's the SBW AB41, unless they're reinforcement, but there's two over here. They could take out that Sherman if they take him from the side. Uh, 50 mil, uh, 35 mil, but still, you can still destroy, you know, these numbers. They're meant to stop you from 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 attacking, but you get one of each side. There you go. He knows. These will get suppression. Is he going after the RM Commando? Very nice move. Gibbous Jaeger is coming in for the kill on that Sherman DD. Over here in the forest, we're about to push and destroy these commandos. Achilles is still doing a little bit of damage, but overall, the Stug M42 has seen himself very useful with the with his gang behind him. Bofors 40 mil in place. Gibbous Führer coming in for the middle ground. Velto is just going around protecting that duck who fails. The Sherman DD actually left. They he saw the Gibbous Jaegers and unfortunately could not get the kill. Commandos will should probably die against these. Oh, but yeah, the Sherman is providing good support there. Some reinforcement for the ground here. There's a Sherman DD coming in. Another beautiful unit to the game. Wow. Huh? You know what's weird to me, and I, I don't understand, is why when the dry when the when they were going on the beaches of Normandy, why were the crew of the tanks inside? Couldn't they have rigged something that you can operate it from the outside, and the crew can stay outside? Because a lot of people died that way uh, when the tanks start going to the bottom, they and they couldn't come out in time, and so I'm just wondering. You know, didn't they foresee that? <laughs> I'm not an engineer, so I mean, anything I say is just pure naivety. Not, it's, it's pure, you know, it's a classic internet comment style. But I'm just thinking maybe they could have thought of that and do something about it. DD coming against uh, the Pioneers kills it. IG-18 still shooting at the Achilles. Achilles is starting to get pretty damage, as you can see here. These guys are all shooting at the machine gun now. Or are they? Oh, the Sherman DD being targeted by the LG-42. Misses, dies. Over here, there's two IG-18 being um, shot at and suppressed by the Commando Vickers. We're having the forest here with nice mortar shot as well. But now he's got zero ammunition. SPW41, this one died here. This one's still going. The Sherman DD is trying to hunt him. And he might see a target soon. 
But the, oh, look at that back 40. Oh, he's not gonna have. Oh, my lord. Misses the first shot. Oh, he's in machine gun range, which is bad for him. Uh, penetrated that uh, Sherman. Now the SPW trying to come and save that pack 40. And there you go. Oh, but my god, he had time to shoot. And Tonoman dies. He just he just went a little bit too far. And now this one. Uh, who's being targeted by artillery? No one? Oh, this is what I'm hearing. A sniper contest here. Obviously, Varian will die at this contest. He's only got two strength, while these guys have nine total. IG-18 coming in here for the side shot on stuff. Hellcat coming in with eight 150 mil. Oh, this is disgusting. <sighs> Look at that. Doesn't get a lot of kills, but still. Pa! 38R dies with troops inside. That Akil is still alive, and so... Tonoman now has to retreat from there, but he's got the pack 40 will kill the Sherman this time since he's not in machine gun range Then he might also kill that Achilles Stu 42 bounces that Oh my god, the, the pack 40 misses again There you go finally this is a kill Spitfire LR MK 2C coming in for the pack 40 Tonoman sees that. He's going to fall back right away to minimize damages. This will be something of the past with the new patch. You won't get defensive bonus like that. Go oh, misses the the micro here. He must be pissed. And so as such, he's bringing these Storm Pioneers. Kills one right away. Commando will now move away. These guys on the attack order. So they'll never be able to catch up, really. Because every time they do, they'll stop to shoot. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Tonoman sees that. He's going to bring at least one Pioneer over here. In town, we're still doing good. Poopshen? Who is this guy shooting at? He was shooting at the Sherman, but he 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 went out. Um, not a lot of uh, reinforcement in town. A Crocodile Sherman 2 has we're coming into phase B with a lot of commando number 4. Mortars over here doing some damage. What's the reinforcement here? Machine guns and Breda 20 mil. Not a lot. And he doesn't have, like, I mean, with um, with Fifth Gabirs, it's good to always be reinforcing with anti-air. Just so that when when something powerful comes in, you actually can do something about it. Over here, we're about to destroy these guys. There we go. Command, um, commando leader dead. RM commando number 45 will start suffering as well. These guys are going to push forward and possibly cut the reinforcement road crocodile coming in in the middle as well these guys are being used because they have 150 mil um of frontal armor they're not that good at attacking they can kill though i mean with 90 mil penetration but um yeah really you just want them for to deny the area to the enemy i guess he's going to use them maybe for his flaming capacity as well the pack 40 will do Good against him at that distance. I don't think he's going to suffer too much. And there you go. And now these commando number four with four Thompson and three Stan and some Willie Pete grenades. They are a threat in this forest. They are a threat. But Gibbous Jaggers does excel in CQC. And this SPW. Oh, be going to be shot by the commando. But with that amount of stress. Oh, but the stress is lowering and lowering. And there you go. What? He's not in range yet. Pack 2 Pack 40 is coming in over here. Protected by 2 Breda. The duck is coming. There's probably a fighter behind him. But I don't see one on the map. There's a bow force. Unfortunately, we'll get... Don't know what he did there. I don't know what he did. Uh, he would have had time to shoot at least a couple rounds. Loader knocked out on this crocodile. Getting shot by APCR. Bouncing all of these rounds over here. We're still holding on pretty good. The SPW-40 died to that RM commando. Gibbous Strife are doing some machine gun firing on these guys. They do have two machine guns. I mean, it's not that. It's not bad. 
Um, it's not the greatest, but it's not bad either. IG-18 does some transmission damage, I think, by shooting on the side. Driver knocked out. He's being shot by everyone over here in the town. This guy, oh, he has actually survived that pack 40. Velto will be pushed back by the Bofors 40 mil here. Stug M42 will try to get a the crocodile, but in vain. He'll never get, as I say that, shooter knocked out. But I don't, he'll never get a kill there. That's 150 mil. Veltro end up dying. Stug tree being called on the map with some flamers and another SPW 41. Hellcats are extremely resilient. They're not going to be pushed by the Breda. There's a need for much more anti-air. Oh, wow. And an ammo truck coming to repair that crocodile. Um, not supposed to be repaired while he's under fire, but I guess the game don't care about it currently, which is weird. Now we're shooting HE at that crocodile. And there you go, it's dead. Gibbous Jaeger is coming in here. Might want to go to shoot at this Bofors as it is just a simple vehicle. Um, so he, he could kill it there. These guys still holding the fort, but finally dies. The Gibbous Führer, obviously Tournament doesn't have his head here, so he doesn't see that. Or else he'd be going back. The C1 STA, what is that? Oh, that's interesting. Rather useless. But it is a recon. So, you know. It would be good with tanks. Stug tree here doing some damage. Over here, that crocodile is being pushed back by the Stug and Pack 4D. Sorry. Pack 40. The Stug M42 and the Pack 40. And there you go. Dies. Another crocodile coming in. How much? Uh, they're 85 points. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, that they die. But it's still, you know, it's 85 points. It's still something. 59 for Tonoman currently. I'm surprised Virion is not using the off map. If you're going to play first SSB, you'd think that use, using the off map is the least of your concerns. Sherman 2 dies to the Stug 3. Pack 40 versus Crocodile down there. Over here, we have the Spaviero shooting at the Commando Dassault. The, uh, oh man, they, they completely miss each other. The Führer, I'm sure Tonoman will forget him there and he might die. Well, I don't think, no, because they, there's two people in here and only one. Yeah, Gebers Führer should have that. He, three Beretta, two G43, and one Sniper. Come on, he's got this. They do have the Willy Pete, though, which caused some damage, but there you go. Oh, no, no, no. There's still one here, but it doesn't matter, really. They can't do much damage. He could go <laughs> against these, but uh, Tournament has not resupplied. Oh, and there you go. Since they are commando, I think they, they do display an aura of... Um... Ah, this is sickening. This is absolutely sickening. There's one guy. We can't even see him. There's one guy here. How How is it that this guy... 1410 for Tonoman. Fusilier on the return fire. Somehow. Don't know why. Pack 40 going to start shooting some HE shells at the commandos. More some pioneers and CQC unit coming in around here. God damn, the flag here is being taken by Viren. There's not a. I mean, uh, there is no infantry here, so what can he do, right? Both flags here being captured. Stug could very well go here, but it is dangerous because you don't know what's over here. And these guys, they do have, you know, bazookas as well. The Sherman 2, another one coming. These guys are pretty good looking. They're two star too. And they're they they come in good availability. Are they Polish? It would look like it. Yeah, this looks like it's a Polish tank. From the flag, obviously. Ammo coming in for this Stug M42 as he's out of everything, basically. This guy is a champ. Oh, God. He's, he's, he's shot. Man, he's not even damaged. Look at him. Uh, 
LG42 being called in in the middle to go with the pack 40. Sherman 2 is in grave danger here. I can't believe he's being that reckless. Oh no, Tonaman completely missing the mark on that. Oh, God, it hurts. Could have come in with the leader. And unload here. Uh, it's a dangerous move, but you kind of know there's not a whole lot here. There's more Sherman coming in. Commando spam now starts to to be felt by Tonoman. Still 14 10 though, 15 minutes to defeat, but we are going on uh, C phase. And so now the advantage will be in Varian's camp for income. Achilles getting the LG42? No. No. Getting the MG42 instead. Very good CQC base around here. There's not much he's going to be able to do to counter all of these. Especially there's an ABW over here. Bazooka coming in. Could get shot at and die from these guys though, unfortunately. Aligning Bazooka kills the Sherman too. There you go. Will retreat out of there. Commando can't even start shooting at them currently. In town, we're getting we're still getting pushed from this flag. Should be an easy capture. Both of these guys should be an easy capture. You see, because of the front line, that there's only units in, in this area. Oh no, commando number 10 doesn't have anything to kill. Oh, but the Sherman does. And, and there you go. It is a kill. Although he doesn't see any more target, there is plenty. Leader going down. Nice move there. There you go. Give us Hive and give us Jagger. I guess the Commando should do good. Pack 40 coming in over here. They, they're still holding on to this flag, but there's not a whole lot to destroy these guys. HS coming in. He knows there's uh, Bofors here. He doesn't have a lot of chance to actually... As I'm saying... Oh, he's shooting at this other plane here, this Parviero. There you go. Nice shot on the crocodile. El Cat again coming in with a thousand kilogram bombs. I would have probably put more AA around here. I don't know. Doesn't do that much damage, but we'll delete that Geberstreif. Unfortunately, you know, he'll surrender there most likely. And he's got 7 health, so... Oh, well, will he? Looks like he might survive. The Pioneer is going against the Commando here. Oh, no, he'll surrender now. Oh, yeah, that's a surrender. And I stand corrected. It looked like it was. And eventually, you're kind of running out of CQC units. As you can see here, he's not sending anymore. So he's basically lost the forest now, unless he calls a whole lot of reinforcement. He had a good run going there, 13-11 for, for uh, Tonoman still, but it's 13 minutes he needs to hold like that, and this should be really hard, especially if he can't conquer this with a single troop there. Firefly coming for the Stug, the Gibeos Jaggers. Hellcats, unstoppable, really. 
as um, why invest in anti-air if you're just going to invest so little there's actually there was no anti-air or it died either way um, there were two truck here now there's done 1311 but we're really starting to struggle here and there's nothing for tournament to actually hold a push from these guys and there's not a lot here but the spw 41 is reigning supreme over here um, but there's another Sherman 2 coming in. Firefly, destroy that. Give us Jaegers. Pushan will move forward. For the little it will do. Siesta just died. The C1 STA. Willy Pete being thrown. Oh no, it was actually a Piat. <laughs> and it missed. Lots of support weapon here in the north. But in the south, it's all starting to crumble. Tank Busters almost get the shot. He's going to bring the Pushan instead to bring the Skrokrow. He's going to have one shot because after that, people are going to start shooting at it. Oh no, the Stug actually died. From the Crocodile, I think. And there you go. Kills the crocodile, one shot. Good pooption, good pooption. But we're really struggling against the advance here. 12 12. The speed of you goes down, only a Sherman left, but he can't go that far. There's, uh, there's two, but I'll definitely be able to hold the ground a little bit. 12 12 now. No off-map use from either parties. And the AB para is starting to make their appearance. And these guys have snipers. As if this division was not OP enough. Also supplies here for this mortar. It is doing an alright job. Mortar has been resupplied here. Uh, it's going to take a whole lot for this to happen. There's no reinforcement coming in either. He's at 90 points and he's calling like Stugs and shit, so Sapiovio gonna be coming in. Save the day, maybe, but unfortunately he's aiming at nothing. He might change his aim once he see these guys killing his Führer. Hellcats now coming in. Double kill on these Stugs. This is over. This is game over. There's no coming back from, from this. And then the Sparviero will die. Hmm. Not now, but they do have free rank. They can go wherever they want, these Hellcats. It's all over, Tonoman. He, he, you did well at first, but um, eventually, there's only so much you can do against this division. You gotta go for, uh, you gotta go all in. And now there's going to be a buff on the Bren as well. And I mean, I get it, because 15 infantry really do need that. And and most in most divisions with the AB pairs need that buff. But now, uh, these, this division will be buffed. It's on top of, of being super duper elite. Oh, it is sickening. I don't think, uh, I don't think the devs will fix the problem at all. I think we're going to be another six month stuck with um this ugly meta of first ssb it's always the same thing well the balance was nice now 
but it's always the same thing. They they release a new division. It is super broken OP, like Fort Falschemjäger, and then you're or f when for Fifth Gabir's also release, and then you're stuck with it for a while, and then they nerf them, and um, it becomes okay. But recently they've been doing a really 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 bad job. Um, the recent nerf they did on Third Falschemjäger, which is actually a buff if you know anything about the game. Um, of course, the devs don't know anything about their game. <laughs> they don't. I imagine they don't play it, or maybe they just play the team game. I don't know, but clearly, they must not be playing it. If they're satisfied with first SSB for six months, they must not be playing the game. And and if they called what they did to Third Falschemjäger a nerf, then they definitely don't play the game or have any idea how this game <laughs> is played. It's actually quite funny. Um, but yeah. <laughs> of course. I don't even want to look at these kill lists. Uh, Sugim42 did okay. Yeah. So anyway, that was the game versus a first SSB from Tournament. So uh, this is 1-1 um, one, one now. Tomorrow is going to be the Eastern Front battle, so don't miss that. This is going to be a team game. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.